Hello everyone, my name is Rimat and today I'm going to showcase a game in Diamond 2 at around 30 LP and I'm going to play again till the jungle. I promise you I will showcase a mid lane game but as I said I'm more focused on jungle now and yeah. So in this game we're around Diamond 2 uh, division with uh, 30 LP right after the game I'm like 45 Four, so it's less than three, I don't know, somewhere there. And if you look at the team comp before we start, we're going to notice that uh, their team comp is uh, composed of a Swain in the top lane of a mid lane Z jungle, that's Jarvan, and the bot lane that's quite aggressive if it gets uh, this stun, the early damage mini stun and such. Now, while our team comp is mid lane, uh, split push oriented, again top lane split push oriented because of their ability to take towers. Jax has also the ability to do solo kills, but as he plays with Ignite I'll have to actually uh, monitor that lane. I mean if he falls behind uh, or if he's forced to recall by the enemy jungler, I need to be there. I need to push the enemy jungler away from Jax because 2 versus 2 early on we defeat them, especially if I use my W correctly, especially with his Ignite. So this is a matchup that I'd say we'd win. Now, if you look at the stats for this game on uh, op.gg, you're going to see that Zed is a bit of a smurfer, so mid lane might have issues, which will happen, and Zed will get fed. So I have to play thinking that Zed will get fed, so focus on the lane that might win, such as top lane or bot lane, so yeah. That's why you won't probably see as many gangs on mid, partly also because he has escapes and... Ziggs and Tulia shouldn't be easily killing a Z, okay, because he has his W. Let me check one more thing, okay, everything's fine. So let's start. I'm gonna click on me, I'm gonna speed up a bit. Again, the strategy is to get either top lane or bot lane fed, and you will see uh, I have actually successfully made bot lane get some kills. Um, no players in this game have under. 15% win rate on their champions and so most players here aren't first timers most players here know their champion basics and more than that and All of them are diamond to here. We try the cheese uh, if they invade and not successfully and Okay, maybe the mouse uh, Before I start the real thing uh, I'm going to talk also about the items I'm going for Zonia as soon as possible after the first jungle item because of the Zed and Jarvan combo, even the Braum ult that might lock me down or Swain, uh, Swain, not Charm, that cool uh, CC spell. And then after that you either Rabadons or Rylas, probably Rylas than Rabadons, that was the whole Um Here I kinda sucked a bit because I failed with the leash, I didn't uh, dodge enough auto attacks, I'm usually scared that I might drag it. Uh, and reset it. Um, here, the patting is not the best, but as Jax put me a word here, I will know when Jarvan will come. And so, uh, I will word this bush and we'll go straight for this. They also, we also have word here. I asked for this word, okay? I also, I always ask my mid laner for this word, and Jax was very good for wording here. And let's see what happens. I word here, I have full vision control in this zone. So I have absolutely no chance to lose this, and as you can see, I see Jarvan here slightly starting blue, and he also has smite, but I don't care, I go for it, and I have time to actually smite it, as you can see here, I dragged it away and he couldn't do much, I was full HP, and this actually caused him to lose, to lose a lot of uh, gold from that, uh, his mana might have issues now, look at his mana bar, and I'm just going to farm as much as I can. And I need to close this one. You can see him on the map going for the uh, bot side crab, I think, I don't even know. Yeah, he stopped because he's seen the fight on mid, and then i seen also that he might come here, I predicted it, okay? So that's what you gotta do as a jungler, you gotta understand when it's possible for the enemy to come here. Now, he didn't have mana for a full combo. And I sort of guessed because he didn't have blue, but if uh, if he flashed here, maybe he had a chance to get the kill, but probably not due to Zig's heal. 
And then I see I'm level 3, he's level 2, I can go as much as I want on Bohemian because the uh, Z is low. But I also need to keep an eye on out for Braum, as you can see here I don't see him yet, but I guess he'll come and I went back straight after this. Then I'm going for the rates because now Jarvan is level 2 and mid lane is low HP and Braum is on back to the lane. So this is even more, uh, this is even more uh, further pushing this lead. And as you can see Jarvan struggles to get his uh, golems and he's behind. And uh, the same rich get richer really really applies to this game. Uh, usually Talia when she wins the lane she's nobles harp. And now here I also have the crab which Jarvan should have... that... I don't know what was that. Jarvan should have killed it. And that was another mistake. He was a jungle... he is a jungle main as far as I know. I need to recheck that. Uh, also Jax wins the lane here but you will see soon enough that Swain actually manages to come back. So it's not like an easy win because... Uh, because Jax got a kill here. Also, he doesn't lose that much. Uh, Swain, I mean, because he has teleport, so he's back. And uh, you know, when playing with teleport, you don't really uh, care that much if you an ignite user because he also has uh, because you also have teleport. So you have teleport. That sounds so wrong. That whole phrase. Uh, going here, I'm getting. Um, a vision ward as well, uh, besides the normal items, you try to finish the jungle item as soon as possible. Uh, always get the vision ward and put it right in that bush. Okay? Or where the crab you will spawn. If you have uh, if you have uh, the gold needed, try to get some wording done. Here I went a bit aggressive. Uh, I have actually thought <laughs> the right spawn, but I forgot. I actually didn't clear. I thought he would clear it, so yeah. Here I did the mistake of showing up on mid, they also know where I am. I think that Jarvan is mid, so that word is mine, okay? Ziggs know. Ziggs know beforehand that. Even with the vision word though, he had the time actually to reaction, even if Jarvan went full straight on him with flash and EQ, because he has it. And here I'm just farming, as you can see the farm, I'm actually quite ahead, I'm 14 CS ahead, and then I'm just going for it. I'm just trying to get as much as many things as I can. Uh, I'm checking the jungle, so probably shouldn't do this, but I know the crab is coming, so I have to stick around. Here I tried the gank on Z. I hit the W, but he escaped. But even though I knew the crab was coming, there were still quite some seconds, and I patted towards my uh, bot side, uh, my bot side, the jungle. Uh, and this was mostly because, I don't know, this was a bad decision here, should have not go here, uh, or should have stayed for the crap, uh, or should have, you know, get the kill on mid, but that's right now unnecessary, or that doesn't matter actually because I'm still ahead, uh, but in a very, very serious higher reload in this game, such as Masters and Challenger, problems might arise. Uh, I'm taking this, I'll make 6, and now we start to think in bot lane ganks, because if we win bot lane, because Jax is winning obviously, but if we win bot lane, then we might have a chance. Now look at this ult positioning right here, okay? Uh, it was a perfect ult from start. Uh, Sevir actually comes here to try to help for the dash, but he had to flash because he wasn't in range, okay? So watch this, okay? And this was a very good fight for us. We actually burned their flashes and their old defensive summoner spells. This means, and you'll see later on that I can gank this lane. Uh, here, Zix do, does a very bad trade. I I've seen this. I was actually I, don't, I think I pinged him not to go here. Who let me breathe? <sighs> Some normal jungle clear. Nothing fancy. My red should have been gone by this point, but it seems that Jarvan tried to get him on top. Jarvan plays extremely defensive, even though here I'm half HP, he probably doesn't know that. And okay. Fast, fast, fast. Let's move, let's move, let's go. More jungle clear, more. I hear I, I was. Uh, here I observed that Soraka Pink Jacks to go in because she had uh, her ultimate. Now he went in, but he died. Okay, but, but, because I hit that Q, I think I actually helped Jax without getting the kill, because with one Q, just one Q hit, uh, he killed Swain, okay? Maybe Swain would have lived, but I don't have time 
or the patience to calculate that. Still, going, getting the kill for Jax was a very big thing. As you can see here, even though, you know, see the word, he went through this zone. You should always clear this. So this is for everyone else, not only for the Talia mates, okay? Uh, more clearing in the jungle, more farm. As you can see, I'm actually continuing the lead. And I will spike very hard in CS. Now, mid lane dies again. And I tend to get pissed when I see Smurfert getting fed. Uh, also here, it was a nice, a really nice opportunity. Because I've seen him to use W to push the wave. I have simply... Uh, flashed here, he actually could have dodged and escaped, I think. But somehow I managed to hit the Q for the, the W for the first time in my life, successfully kidding. Uh, but still, this was good. Now, I know bot lane has no flash. I actually never think about it after I remove it, but you should think about it. And uh, yeah, the goal was to actually go there at some time and try to get a kill because I know mid lane won't. Uh, matter that much in terms of kills, he will still get the tower if he's left unattended. Here Jarvan went for the combo, I think Jarvan even flashed him now, which is extremely bad decision. Uh, here I notice bot lane isn't far enough but isn't close enough either, so that's something wrong. Still, I went for the gank, I knew they had no cooldowns, okay? So with proper W, maybe, maybe I get something, okay? So let's see what happens. The silence here is very crucial, and I absolutely did not understand why Sivir turned around. That just sealed them, sealed the kill for them. Now this, this actually gave me the win here. If Sivir didn't do that, the game would have been longer and very, very harder probably. This was a bad decision, and she has. Okay, this is a diamond to player with a 60% win rate, 65 in a lot of games, like minimum 30 games. So that was weird. What was that patting her? Probably she thought she could kill me. But then again you're against Soraka with an ult. How does that help you? And they didn't have any summoner spells either, so she probably was scared of the W. Uh, but still. Here, obviously, we go for the tower, because this is an easy opportunity for a lot of gold. And mid lane gets the kill here, even though he dies. He grids out. I don't know why he grids out here. He got a kill on Zed. Which is this Smurfer. Usually it's Smurfer versus Smurfer or good player versus good player. Here probably the good players are either Mijax or Lucian or even Soraka and inner team just Zed and maybe Swain, but Swain seems to lose. Uh, but our maybe feeder, if I say, will be probably Ziggs because you'll see Zed gets fed. And this doesn't matter to me because I just farm around as much as I can. And you can see here the actual CS difference uh, getting spread over now. I notice they want to swap, okay? It's a bad thing to swap if your top laner doesn't swap. And if the jungler like me here wouldn't go there to have bot lane, that would have been a problem. We would have lost this tower. I don't think even we lose it in the whole game. And yeah, here I just death it, okay? And they tried to get the kill on me and obviously I have some words here probably too. And I don't even feel scared about it. I do have the level adventure, I have 3 levels over them, I'm having Soraka near bites, an easy lane for me. They have absolutely no chance to kill me, even if Jarvan comes with an ult, I would still probably live here. Soraka got poked, uh, and I don't know exactly what they do here. Uh, they again do this kind of mistakes, and here we get the kills, I have ult here, okay, I position so I don't trap Soraka. That was very important, you position so you don't trap someone. And obviously as I'm against Soraka here... Oh, I got stunned. Nah, that sucks. I knew they were going to kill Jarvan in that point, I just had to zone the problem. Now, again, bot lane. I spotted that the bot lane, their bot lane isn't that amazing. And I tried to abuse that. I didn't go top that much because Swain might be hard to kill. But Jack seems to manage even though he died 1 versus 1 before. And... Oh, that's again that one. And I just roll from it. From this point, I actually roll from it. At this point you shouldn't lose. You are not allowed to give kills. You're not allowed to stop farming. And you're not allowed to try to go for objectives as often as you can. As you can see here, I'm getting the cloud. Again, I'm getting objectives around the map. I'm farming as much as I can. <sighs> too much. 
as you can see here, we clear. Going bot again, because uh, my top lane still didn't swap. And my bot lane still didn't come bot, telling him to swap. And here I just, you know, basic farming. And my belly hurts from talking so much in a short period of time. Okay. Here, you're going to see that I noticed Braum keep going topside. This means, uh, this is a free kill for me. Look at the levels, I'm, I'm 3 levels ahead, I have a stopwatch, I also have flash, I have everything. He doesn't have anything, I just walk to it, I don't even have to ult even though it was up in like a second. I just abuse as much as I can the lanes. Do I get flagged for saying that word? This, does this video get 18 years old plus minor restrictions because I said that word? Ah, whatever. Let's hope it's not a problem. Farming like a maniac, you can see the difference. You just scale from this point, okay? You just scale. Scale, 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 get all the minions, everything you can, all the farm. Uh, and move and get some more objectives. Here I notice again Sivir. Sivir was 0-1 before these two kills. I actually got her very, very good two times in a row. I don't know why she missed positions. I think she was tilted at this point. I would be tilted too uh, after mistakes like that probably, but I probably would try not to do them. Here I flashed because I was fearing I was fearing that stuff. Uh, I thought someone else was coming. I was panicked. Zed was coming here. And I have Zonia, but that's uh, not a very okay thing to rely on when there's a Zed default up. That's risky. Still with Zonia, still risky. Okay. Uh, moving forward, you're going to see again the CS, the big CS difference that you, when you get it, you're ahead with Talia. You're very ahead. Uh, look at the levels, two levels difference. I've been four and five levels different in some games. Just because I kept farming when my team was doing mistakes, such as uh, not swapping properly, uh, I don't know, dying randomly, things like that. I just went there and get the farm because with two buff you can farm for ages with this champion. Especially when you're not mid. When you're mid, you don't get blue buff that often, you'd be surprised. Here, my team is positioned greatly, but the carries. The fat carries are still alive. So yeah, Jax has the Rift Herald. I think we need just to fight here. This is the pool. He knows what he has to do. He's a split pusher. He'll just have to get it. And now I'll just try to wiggle it as much as I can. And then I'll just... Watch this. Most players might stop here. Most players might stop here and think, Okay, I'm going back. Bot lane is fine enough. No, it's not fine enough. You need to be sure he takes the inhibitor and has enough time. Look at this, okay, I ult, they all think I'm gonna jump in them, I don't, I just try to wait as much as I can. Swain is low, she, he knows, he knows he has nothing to do with me, but then the thing doesn't stop, I don't stop here, I just go, try to kill Zed, he escapes, no problem, no problem. Just buying time for Jax, just buying as much time as I can, Swain won't be a problem if he comes, the rest however, here, I don't know, more overextending doesn't matter much. Zed knows he has no chance here, even though he has ult and ignite and it's useless against especially a two level gain. Yeah, even though, even though uh, he has the same amount of kills, I have more farm and I have two level advantage because of the whole thing I created. I didn't die. So, yeah. I'm still uh, having issues talking to much. Okay, fast forward. Uh, I know I cleared this before. Uh, no problem, I should have swapped the drink a long time ago. Here is easy kill, she recalls on a ward. Braum again, I don't know why he bought her so much. There is a, as you can see, an infernal. From this point, it's just easy. I'm just gonna speed this up because you got the point. You got the point of what you have to actually do, you have to, this is an example of many to come, have to acknowledge which lane will actually lose, which lane will actually win, and you can see this by stats, especially in all elos you can see it by stats. There was no uh, challenger, hidden challenger booster here because it's diamond 2 and most players should know how to play by this point. And just this Z, which was probably last season, was master or higher or something, and 
he had a good KT this season. Or even if he wasn't master, he was something like Diamond 1, Diamond 2 probably higher than this point and he knows how to play. You gotta admit that your mid laner, if the opponent is smart for him, your mid laner might feed. So you have to play around the other lanes, which I did. Okay, more inhibitors taken. This game lasted way more longer than it should. The game should have been over at this point. But we grid it out as you can see here. Uh, I still don't ruin my score here. I'm still 7 0. I somehow escaped. Uh, I don't. It doesn't matter that much. I know we won. Just, I just have to keep the advantage while we keep farming, keep farming, keep trying to get objective rate for the Baron, get the Baron, clear it. I didn't buy the red trinket. That was a mistake, but I didn't care much either. But in some games, Vision, Vision plays a very big role. And as you can see, Zed is extremely fat, but. Uh, it doesn't matter because the rest of his team didn't get the chance to be fed because Talia just went everywhere and probably that was one of the factors that betrayed me this game. Here I just told you for the town. And then I think to go for the Baron because I knew with two into the town and three levels ahead. I don't know, I win smite steals, I don't think I have a problem against Baron. Here another fight. Uh, I think I get a quad here. If I remember correctly, and I go for the Penta, and there I ruin my score because I'm greedy. <laughs> uh, yeah, here I stole this with my Q and get the Quadra kill, and I'm gonna speed this up. I'm going here, I'm trying to get Zed, but I remain without mana. I go very greedy for it because I really, really wanted the Penta. I don't think I ever had a Penta on this account. Yeah, I just thought I could finish there, but I didn't, so yeah, obviously the game will last a little bit longer. But nothing to be really afraid of. Well, stop. Okay. So let's go a bit faster. Just farming, guys. Farming again. You're going to get sick of me saying this. Just, just farm, okay? The best advice you can get from every player from this is the basic. Start learning to farm. Go in the practice too. Farm, okay? Now I'm not talking necessarily about jungle right here. I'm talking about everything every lane last hits matter as well if you can see because i stood on those bot on that bot lane here because because i chose not to farm my jungle at that time but to farm two or three ways i got a huge lead from that point and more simple basic hits nothing fancy and the game will be over so i just hold and let's end and Zed was very pissed at this point, saying that I need one and stuff like that. But Six did his job. Even though he didn't do that much, he did his job. Okay? So the lesson today, I guess, would be try to acknowledge the lanes that win. Try to move towards them when possible. Try to remove with your old earth flashes if they have them. And then try to get the kills. Uh, if that doesn't work, then. I don't know, you always have three lanes that might win, so you gotta try. Jax in this game would have been a good lane to camp too, but Jax was, the, was a good player. He knew, he recognized his uh, opportunities. Swain wasn't necessarily a bad player, but Swain didn't have a jungle either to, to work with. I mean, if your jungle gets heavily outplayed, there's probably was this game. Because their jungler didn't flash for like the first 6 minutes and as a Jarvan you need to get kills with the flash. I mean come on, level 2 you can remove it. I was very very specific about the level 2 Jarvan gang, which it didn't even happen, that should happen. As a Jarvan you should actually try to go for the Tuliaki because if you wait somewhere in this zone and you can get... Let me... Let me get away, okay. Let's see your level 2, let me just go to the proper minute. When I get here, if there is an unworthy Jarvan and auto attacks me, and I miss the W, I'm done. Okay, I'll die there probably. Okay, somewhere in this zone, in this area. So yeah, as an aggressive player, when fighting at Talia, you can kill her only and only if she doesn't have word and she doesn't actually know how to play. But if she has W up, then yeah, you're gonna struggle a bit because... Yeah, good, good players will hit it most of the time. So that's why I don't even care that much here. Even though he was here, Jarvan Prime was probably not in that much. Uh, he would QE me, I would W under myself, and then kite towards freedom and damage. He was 
a problem though if Swain followed first, but again, with a Q only, I don't think he would have, you know? I usually win the smite battles because I like to click on my smite and see how much damage it does. And most people, even at this elo, don't do that. Now here, the mistake was that he went back. Even though he had words, he didn't expect... I think I would have actually flashed for this. To actually try to get the bit, because this matters a lot. And you'll see this changes a lot. I'm not usually the aggressive type, but you can see here how much aggression can buy you. But this word was also top on the cherry cake, whatever. And here, this word that I asked for, you should ask always. Things like that matter. That's it for today guys, I really hope you enjoyed the advice that I presented and see you for the next episode which probably will be somewhere next week. Uh, if you have any requests, if you have any ideas, I don't know, please share them. I also encourage you to share these videos to your Tilia main friends or to your jungle main friends which happen to like or want to pick up Tilia because she's very strong jungler right now. I really hope she doesn't get nerfed. And you should also ban, I don't know, Kindred or aggressive junglers, just Nocturne if possible and such. So these are your counters basically, yeah. Anyway, have a good day, night, or, you know, whatever else. <laughs> but good luck in your games and have a good day and night, guys. Goodbye.